When I was a little girl, I just always loved fairies. Fairies are the best. And I used to look for fairy rings and look for uh, any, anything in the nature or the woods that I think maybe, you know, fairies left there, little twigs and things like that. I used to want to catch fireflies in jars. I love the fairy realm and I love the fairy world. So I wanted to bring that into my artwork as well. There's a little part of me that's hoping that my tree will attract fairies into the house. It certainly is attracting birds. They keep trying to come in through the window and land in the branches of the tree. <laughs> the branches of the tree are filled with glass fairy bottles. Each bottle has a number of neopixels inside and they're all connected up to each other. My vision was to make the animations of the lights inside the bottles mirror the four seasons of the year. I've got an animation for spring, summer, winter, and fall, and each one showcases a little bit of the feeling of that season. The springtime animation is full of color and energy and light, and the lights move back and forth, and rainbows shift and change, and it just makes me feel very awake and energized. The summertime animation is really lazy, it's beautiful, it's just a simple shifting rainbow. The autumn animation makes me feel like Halloween. It makes it look like there are little candles flickering inside each of the bottles. And the winter animation might be my favorite. It has raindrops that gently fall and light up each bottle. And then every so often, a big lightning flash comes and makes the whole room bright and then dark and then bright again. The bottles are powered by a Circuit Playground Express, which is running Microsoft Make Code. It's a drag and drop editor that's really easy to use and really anybody can do it. I can change the colors or change the brightness or anything like that just by dragging blocks across the screen. Check out the full tutorial over on the Adafruit Learning System. And as always, remember to subscribe for more fun Adafruit tutorials.